Now, for all of you avid cycling weekly followers out there, you'll know that I've been working at the magazine now for coming up on five months, and it has been five absolutely incredible months at that. I've got to go on some amazing shoots, and above all else, I've got to try some absolutely incredible equipment. So here is what is almost a six monthly half year review of my favorite bits of equipment so far. Right, so for my first item, I've got a set of winter tights from Santini. This is the New Hot Tight, it's in a size small, and I've been using these on and off most of the winter. They are a middle of the range tight, coming in at 160 pounds RRP. But I think when it comes to value for money, these tights have kept me warm, they've kept me comfortable. I've not had a single saddle sore all winter. So for me, these are an absolute top buy. And actually on treads.co.uk at the moment, you can get these for 44% off at 90 pounds. So definitely pick up uh, an end of season bargain. Right, so second up is another clothing item and it's from Decathlon in their B-Twin range. Now I have been a long time fan of Decathlon and it's probably the best value for money you can actually get. I mean this is my second iteration of their uh, thermal winter base layer with a windproof front. This mesh here, it's got this black wind block which will keep the wind off your chest. And it's where it's when your chest gets cold, that's when you're at risk of getting ill. So they pack the heat where you need it. And then on the arms here, it's super, super breathable. Uh, you might not be able to see this here, but all of the back side of this arm here is all perforated, these holes. Um, so all round, it actually keeps you, you know, cool when you need to be as well. So it kind of ticks the boxes. And best of all, it comes in at just twenty nine ninety nine. The first one lasted me, well, almost like five, six years. So I've got a hell of a lot of life out of twenty nine ninety nine. Right, next up is a jacket. Now, this is one that I've had for probably coming up on three months now. It's from Lacole. I actually had a Lacole jacket many, many moons ago. Um, and believe it or not, it was a jacket which lasted me years and years and years and years. I mean, I always joke with Yanto, the owner of Lacole, because he was the one who uh, first gave me that jacket all those years ago. And I keep joking with him about how many more seasons I could get out of that one jacket. Now, I think in the end, I probably did, I reckon, six full winters. Bang when I used that jacket maybe three or four times a week. Think how many rides that is. So when it comes to durability, look how uh, really tick that box. So for me, this is very much the updated version of that jacket. It's cool, it's striking, you're gonna be seen by cars and it's thermal. So you can use it throughout the entirety of the winter. But in the spring, if you pair it with the right base there and you have something a little bit thinner, like a mesh long sleeve jersey, I mean, you could be using a jacket like this right up until the end of March, early April. So the versatility on it is really the thing that I love most. So I've been using the gyro tech laces. Now, I have admittedly used gyro once before uh, in 2013 uh, when my team was sponsored by gyro. So I used the Pro Light back then. Very similar sole to this, but the upper was, was much stiffer. Uh, whereas this shoe here, the upper is, as you can see, look, you know, it's so flexible. So when you've got this shoe on, it feels like you've barely got anything on your foot at all. It's certainly not a winter shoe. It could be a good Zwifting shoe, but it's ultimately a summer shoe and it's there for climbing when weight is absolutely everything. Now, before we move on, I just want to show you this in my shoe. Now, for those of you who have been following my vlogs every week, you'll notice recently I did a vlog at Sigma Sports where they did a bike fit for me. And one of the biggest things they did change was the inner soles in my shoes. And that is what I'm going to show you just now. So check these out. Fully custom molded inner soles, not cheap. 
but it was well worth, uh, or is it is well worth um, the investment. And to see how comfortable my foot has been, and my knees as well, over the last few weeks has been really, really interesting. So obviously it's quite hard to say straight away once they make the change and you ride home. It does feel a bit different, but you can't really comment on it just yet. So now being, um, yeah, almost a month in to having had the position change and with the inner soles, I can absolutely hand on heart say that these inner soles have cured a, sea, a, a career long problem with my knee. So I had a flaring knee, as I've said before, um, and it used to cause me all sorts of problems with my IT band. So, um, so yes, yeah, so along with stretching, which is also very important, and strength and conditioning, um, these inner soles have been an absolute godsend. And next up is the Met Manta. Now, I did a video not too long ago on this, before Christmas. I think Met was a brand which has certainly come into their own in more recent years. I used a Met helmet a good number of years ago now, back in 2012, 2013. And I have to admit, I wasn't overly impressed. It never felt like it sat on my head particularly well. And it felt like they had a little bit of legwork to do to catch up the other brands. But now though, now is a different beast. And I was absolutely blown away by the Manta. Its fit is incredible, sticks to your head, doesn't move. It's incredibly aerodynamic. And believe it or not, even with an aerodynamic shell, it is incredibly vented. Now I've used this in some hot conditions already so far, and it has been quite breathtaking how cool my head is. Moving on to bikes and components. So for those of you who've seen quite a lot of my cycling related videos, you'll know what bike I'm about to mention, and that is the Colnago C64. But what I put on the bike though, that is a different story altogether. Now one of the first products I was given by Cycling Weekly was a set of aero wheels by Knight. Now they're 50 mil tubeless ready, may I add, um, wheels and they are incredibly light. I've never used tubeless uh, before so it was really super interesting for me to try a wheel with no inner tube. I can say I did have a couple of punctures and the sealant did its job incredibly well. Am I sold on tubeless ready wheels? Part of me is, part of me is not. I don't like leaving my tyres pumped up. Um, that maybe it doesn't do anything, but I kind of feel it puts more stress on the rim than it actually needs. So with this, I did that and I did a little bit too much and then all of the ceiling came out and it made an absolute mess. On the performance front, uh, like I say, these wheels are incredibly light for a 50 mil set of aero wheels. So I wouldn't hesitate about taking these to a really hilly sporty for a hilly race or even a summit finish. On to braking, I mean, the braking on these wheels is, you know, it's very, very good in the dry. I'd probably avoid using these wheels in the wet. I found the braking a little bit sketchy at times. So I think the reason why is the braking surface is completely smooth. And I find smooth braking surfaces on carbon wheels have always been a bit of a problem. Not just with these wheels, but I've used many, many carbon wheels over the last 10 years, and they always have the same problem when it's a flat braking surface. So, like I say, very cool, very good braking in the dry. Um, it's definitely a show day wheel, so come July, when you want to look good down the calf, or you want to go fast in a race, then uh, this is definitely a wheel set of choice. Now, staying on the topic of wheels is my most recent wheel that I've been using, and that is the Fulcrum racing zeros and it's the carbon version of that. I have always loved fulcrum wheels. I mean, I've used anything from the racing speeds to the aluminium version of these wheels to now the carbon version. This is probably the best carbon wheel set I have ever used. And that's all around. So in the dry, in the wet, uh, its responsiveness on climbs, its ability to accelerate in a sprint. The only thing it's not as good at is obviously top end speed and aerodynamics. So as an all round wheel, I think this 
ticks so many boxes. Something which Fulcrum have done to combat poor braking in the wet, and it's something which a lot of wheels struggle with, like I say. Now you might not be able to see this here, um, but if you look closely uh, on the braking surface, you've got these little grooves. They displace water, uh, which is on the surface of your rim, and it improves your braking massively. The rubber that I'm running on the top of these wheels, uh, I've been using the new Pirelli tires, and these are TT specific P0s. Now, these are 23 millimeter. Um, they are incredibly quick, but they're not very puncture resistant. Now, obviously, when you've got a light tire, you can't expect to have everything in one package. So when it comes to absolute speed, whether it be a time trial or even on the road, and you're going to a place where you know there are very good road surfaces and there's not you know, lots of glass and potholes and like rubbish roads everywhere, then this definitely is a very, very solid tire choice. Now, I talked about this um, little product last week when I gave you my run through on how I clean my bike and gave you some hacks. This is obviously not a hack. This is a product made by iGel Coatings. This is something which, as I said last week, I cannot live without. This repels water and dirt like no other. And as I said, it takes a while to put on your bike, but once you put it on, it keeps cleaning to an absolute minimum and it makes your bike look super super shiny as far as cleaning products is concerned um, and I've used all sorts of cleaning products over the last six months in muck off um, IGL coatings um, finish line uh, all great products but for me this right here is my absolute winner right here is my last product I mean, I've obviously covered the brownies. You do not know what it is yet. First though, I'm gonna to talk to you about ceramic speed. So I recently just put it on my road bike, as you guys saw last week, and I've put a fair bit of mileage through those jockey wheels and bearings. Now, if anything, what's really interesting is the more you ride it, the freer and less friction, it seems, you get in the chain and the bearings, and it's almost like they need a bit of time to bed in. But once they bed in, it definitely has a quantifiable difference. Mentally, I think it's probably the biggest advantage. I think when you're on the start line, and you're looking for absolutely every advantage, knowing that you've got the best bearings fills you with confidence and confidence is everything in elite sport it is an absolute luxury it's, an, it's a luxury i am really really privileged to have so i'm like hugely hugely grateful that i was able to chuck that on my um colnago but yeah it's not there are probably far more uh, beneficial things that you can invest your money in than ceramic bearings uh, if you've got a limited supply of it, like most of us do. So, for example, um, some custom inner soles will help you far more than a set of uh, ceramic bearings. So, it's a little bit twofold, that one. Um, very, very good, but it's not a necessity. So, um, take from that what you will. Here we go. I talked about sunglasses, so I'm saving the coolest till last. And it's from... 100%. Now, 100% is a fairly new company. They famously sponsor Peter Sagan, so naturally it kind of has a bit of a given cool factor to it now. And I've been a long time user of Oakley, uh, and I still very, very much love Oakley, but I have absolutely fallen in love with 100% uh, glasses. Now, check these beauties out. I mean, like, how cool are these? So they come with the nose piece detached, so you have to um, reattach this before you use them. Now, they come with um, two lenses, actually. Um, this is the um, dark lens for sunny days, um, but they also have this clear lens for when the weather is really, really bad. I like the versatility on these glasses. Level of quality, having gone into these glasses, is quite evident. They're very, very well made, they're sturdy, 
they perform really well, really cuts out all the glare on the road. Uh, you can keep confidence while riding. And a really cool thing to note also is the fact that they don't seem to fog up. So they've got very good ventilation. Uh, while keeping the wind out your eyes, it still has a little bit of ventilation taking away the humidity from when you're sweating. So that's another thing I uh, really love about these glasses. Right, now I have saved the best bit till last, and that is announcing the winner of my competition from last week to win this pretty wicked care package from Velo Forte. Now, I have to add, these are not the bars I made with them. These are straight off the production line. So you can guarantee they are absolutely top quality. Not that mine weren't. Mine went down incredibly well in the office. Anyway, the winner of my competition. I had some awesome answers. Some very much made me laugh. Uh, there was some about elbow grease. Uh, a lot of people said that. My winner uh, is from JJ. So JJ said, for, clean, for good cleaning of my chain and sprocket, he uses a dishwasher tablet. Now I love that. Um, they're dirt cheap. They are very much something that we use day to day. Uh, he puts his chain and the cassette in a bucket of hot water with the tablet, leaves it for 30 minutes, and that'll be his brand new. Now, I did give this a go, and he's right, it does work, uh, and that's why it wins the competition this week. So, well done, JJ. If you can send an email to the address, which is down below in the description, um, somebody will get back to you, and you're going to get these bars delivered right to you. So, I hope you very much enjoy that. That's it for competition. I'm not, I haven't got a competition this week, but tune in next time when who knows maybe there'll be a competition to win something something else cool for this week's vlog over and out i hope you enjoyed it if you did give it a like and hit subscribe if you haven't already if you are a new viewer for the channel um, and i'll really look forward to seeing you guys soon so have a good week uh, and i'll see you next time